Greetings, my name is Sonovia and this is Nobis PB Fitness. This is a fitness and plant-based cooking channel. Today is a cooking day and we're gonna be making up a delicious but really, really simple broccoli potato soup. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to saute our onions and our garlic and I already have my uh, vegan butter going so I've got that heating up and so I'm gonna add my my um, onions and typically I usually use a brown onion for this but for some reason I don't know I must have used it for something else because I can only find my red onion so we're gonna go with that today so I'm gonna saute my my onion let that go for a couple of seconds and then I'm gonna add my garlic so this is about uh, I think I chopped up maybe five or six cloves of garlic. I like garlic, so I typically go with quite a bit of garlic in my recipes, but it's up to you. You can go with a little less, okay? So we're gonna let that saute. And along with that, we have, of course, broccoli, because this is a broccoli soup, and potatoes. I've got some carrots here, a couple of carrots and some celery, and I'm gonna toss my celery in there now. And it's really up to you. You don't have to add celery. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today I am adding celery. All right. And what I do with my broccoli soup is, um, when you get towards the end, we're going to blend it, but I don't blend all of my, I don't like my uh, soup just totally creamy. I know some recipes, they just blend it until it's like really creamy. I like to have little chunks of vegetables. So I usually, what I do is I put part of my broccoli in and I save a portion and as well as my potatoes. I'll put half my potatoes in and I'll save half and I'll leave those to the side. And then once I blend everything, then I'll go and put my, um, the rest of my potatoes and broccoli in my soup. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to add, I'm gonna let that cook a little bit longer. Just let that go for a little longer. Okay. Now I'm gonna add um, my, my uh, broth and my dairy, my non-dairy I should say. So I've got some vegetable broth. Now you know I usually make my own broth but I don't have any so we're gonna go with the store broth. Make sure it's low sodium, make sure it's vegan. So I'm gonna put in like three cups of broth in here. I think I got this from, yeah, I got this one from Sprouts. So that is two cups there, and I'm gonna put in one more cup. And this one is another organic broth, and I got this one from Ralph's. So if you're in California, you're familiar with these stores. So I'm gonna put one more cup in there. And that's going to heat up. And some recipes call for a little flour, but I'm using russet potatoes, and because russet potatoes tend to be a little more starchy, you don't really have to add the flour. You can if you wanna thicken it up a little bit more, but I, you don't really need to. So now I'm gonna add some oat milk. And I'm gonna add two cups of oat milk. And I like the oat milk because it's thicker, so it gives more of a creamy consistency because you know with traditional um, uh, broccoli soup, you usually add cream. And because of course I'm not using cream, I'll go with my oat milk, which works just as well. Now I'm going to add my broccoli. So you're taking, chop the broccoli up into bits. And just so you know, okay, now do not throw away the stem of the broccoli. I know a lot of people throw it away. I don't like to waste. So what I do is I'll peel the broccoli and you'll find that the texture is a lot softer once you peel it and you chop all of that up and put it in, and put it in your soup. Don't waste, okay? So that's the way we're gonna do that, all right? 
So now that I got my broccoli in there, we're gonna let that cook down. And I'm gonna add my potatoes. So this is my first batch of potatoes I'm putting in. See, this is super, super simple. Sometimes I add mushrooms because I really like mushrooms, so I'll put some sataki mushrooms in there as well. But we're not gonna go with mushrooms this time because I don't have any, so. And I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper and you can really just go by your taste buds to see if it's enough salt for you and pepper. Get my little stirring spoon here. And we're gonna let that cook down. So it probably will take about maybe eight minutes or so for this to really cook down. So it takes a little longer on my burner, but just so you know, it only takes about eight minutes. And you cook it until your potatoes get a little soft. Like you can, when you put the fork through them, it'll, you know, the fork will, will go through the potatoes easily, as well as your broccoli. And we're gonna let that cook down. Now I'm gonna add my carrots. Let's put this over to the side because we don't need that any longer. And you can use olive oil as well. Sometimes I use olive oil. Today I decided I was going to use the vegan butter because I wanted to, you know, make it a little richer. So, olive oil. And we'll just continue and let that cook. So that's basically it. It's, it's super, super simple. And for it to be so simple, it is so amazingly good. So I'm just gonna toss a little bit of it in the blender so you know how this is supposed to come out. And I will continue to cook this later. So you just take a it's up to you. You can put all of it in the blender or you can put part of it in the blender. But like I said, I like mine a little chunky. So um, what I did, instead of putting it all in, I'll just blend it and then I'll put the remaining broccoli and potatoes in later on after I cook down my, my soup. And if you're like me, it doesn't really matter what time of year it is. I know we're technically still, we're like going into spring now, but I like soup year round. So it doesn't have to be for winter. You can make this whenever you feel like you want some soup. And because it's so fast and easy, you, you know, hey, no problem. Make the soup, freeze it if you want to, so you can have it for later, all right? Blend this up. And you just pour that back in. Simple, as simple and easy as that. All right, so later on I'm going to blend this entire pot. And that's it. So there you have it family, a really simple, delicious, creamy broccoli potato soup. All right family, as always, take care of your body and your body will take care of you. Thank you so much for joining me. Keep it healthy. Peace and blessings.